Will Petersburg soon be home to the largest Civil War battlefield in the country? It will if Senators Warner and Kane get their way. The proposal calls for the National Park Service to acquire an additional 7,000 acres that otherwise could be lost to development. Brent Solomon has more on what's behind the move from Petersburg. When you have history sitting in your own backyard, why not do all you can to preserve it? That's what rangers here at the Petersburg Battlefield are saying, praising renewed efforts for expansion. Sitting on 2,700 acres of land, the Petersburg Battlefield is only a fraction of what the National Park Service feels it should be. The land increase will be, will be significant to say the least. Add an additional 7,000 acres to this historic site and park rangers say they can better tell the stories that played out right here in the mid-1800s. We have a real opportunity to, um, to expand on lands that we already have. Uh, but also to better tell the story, a complete story of what happened here at Petersburg over nine and a half months. Both Senators Tim Kaine and Mark Warner are on board. This week, they introduced a bill to make the vision a reality, a second attempt after similar legislation failed to pass two years ago in Congress. It's something visitors at the park are also welcoming. I like that we have so many national parks that explore these things and preserve a lot of these historical items. And if it passes, the Park Service says you could expect more trails and markers highlighting significant events as opposed to commercialization. Battlefields that are closer to more urbanized areas, uh, Washington, D.C., a lot of those are now underneath shopping malls, housing developments, where here in Petersburg, we still are left with a lot of the the battlefields that are that are very much intact. Intact and ready to be shared with the nation. To have the ability to come 150 years after the event and stand on the very same ground that these soldiers walked over, uh, slept on, died on, um, I think that's, that's one of the biggest takeaways. And perhaps the timing couldn't be any better. Next year, the park will commemorate 150 years since the Siege of Petersburg. And rangers here are hoping that momentum will pave the way for progress. At the Petersburg Battlefield, I'm Brent Solomon for Fox News at 10. Right now, the Petersburg Battlefield pumps some $11 million into the local economy.